cautious in what they share with others with a preference to not share anything at all. The INFJ personality type is known to be one of the more reserved and calculated types of the MBTI. Despite their innate introverted nature, the privacy an INFJ craves goes much deeper than just a simple opposition to putting it all out on the table. So, then why does vulnerability feel so intolerable to this type? Welcome or welcome back, psychos. Before we get into it, we'd love it if you liked and subscribed to our channel, as well as to click the post notification bell so you never miss a video. Alright, let's get right into it. Starting with number one, they rarely show what lies behind their mask. It's fair to say that feeling vulnerable isn't usually considered anyone's favorite pastime. And while some personality types don't mind opening up to others about their deepest thoughts, current life challenges, and negative experiences, the INFJ type doesn't want anything to do with it. In fact, opening up can actually feel unbearable for most people with this personality type. One of the main reasons behind the sense of insufferableness that comes with letting their guard down is the simple fact that they wear a mask just like everybody else. Like the famous anonymous Japanese proverb explains, you have three faces. The first face, you show the world. The second face, you show to your close friends and your family. The third face, you never show anyone. It is the truest reflection of who you are. While this remains true for everyone to a certain extent, some people wear their truest identity a little more outwardly than others, and the INFJ is not one of these people. Vulnerability challenges them beyond the average person because the INFJ's truest identity is hidden beneath multiple layers. Number 2. They have unresolved trust issues With empathy at their core, the INFJ personality type craves the ability to trust others with no second thoughts or suspicions. And while their effortless trust has a reality for most INFJs at one point or another, there comes a time when their relationship with trust becomes rather complicated. In fact, through their unwavering kindness towards others, most INFJs were once rather naive when it came to trusting others, until they experienced one too many rude awakenings and eventually learned better. Unfortunately, with these rude awakenings and the shattering of their fantasized confidence in others' trustworthiness, most INFJs grow bitter towards the idea of becoming vulnerable to just about anyone. With walls built so high, this already private personality type becomes extremely apprehensive when it comes to sharing about themselves or their lives. In extreme cases, some INFJs may end up having feelings of anxiety regret, or panic surrounding the idea of opening up to another person, ultimately making the idea of finding new, authentic connections that would instill their trust in another almost impossible. Number 3. They don't want to get their hopes up Compared to other personality types, the INFJ is known for their rather optimistic yet realistic outlook on life. Despite their fantasized future projection, in which they can separate from a more logical sense of reality, this type has the habit of investing too much into the unknown. Whether it be a job prospect, a potential romantic relationship, or even the state of the world, it takes a certain level of vulnerability to not only put themselves out there, but to also believe in a reality where they could obtain such a thing. INFJs usually go into new territory hoping for the best but expecting the worst to guard themselves from disappointments and criticisms. While it may not be the healthiest approach when it comes to self-confidence, the vulnerability it takes to go about it any other way would send most INFJs into panic mode. Plus, with the ability to see both potential outcomes, they end up pushing themselves a little harder for the most desired one. Number 4 they hate the idea of being a burden. INFJs are amazing counselors, but when it comes to being on the other side of the table, their ability to remain honest and true becomes much more challenging. Although they understand firsthand just how helpful they can be by being that supportive figure in the lives of their loved ones, it 
it's still extremely difficult for the INFJ to bring themselves to rely on another person to help them through their own difficulties. In reality, INFJs love to be burdened by others' challenges whether they like to admit it or not. Yet, ironically, they hold an underlying fear of others seeing them as a burden in any way, shape or form. Whether it's within their romantic relationships, friendships or family, INFJs want to be seen and want to see themselves as the one who can hold their own. They like being able to subtly show off their headstrong approach to life and because of this, most INFJs have practiced putting on a smile and acting as if everything in their life is fine and dandy, despite experiencing inner turmoil and life changes. And rather than taking this approach to seem as if they are some superhuman who effortlessly has everything put together, they are simply avoiding the possibility of anybody being worried about them. Number 5. They fear being misunderstood. There's nothing that quite makes an INFJ feel more uncomfortable than putting themselves out there and speaking on their thoughts, only to have them completely disregarded or misconstrued. As a matter of fact, people of the INFJ type have a history of feeling misunderstood and unaccepted in most social settings. With the habit of going against the grain, this personality type can't help but to feel out of place when it comes to trying to comply with most societal expectations. And while this underlying sense of estrangement is quite typical for INFJs and usually goes unnoticed due to the fact that they don't know anything different, it becomes very apparent when someone is challenging them to explain themselves. Even if the topic of conversation isn't personal, INFJs dread putting in the mental effort only to have their words and explanations be completely misread. This makes even the simplest of ideas and perceptions seem like a vulnerability violation, when in reality, most people are just trying to make conversation. Number 6. They don't know how to be properly vulnerable even if they tried. Similar to fearing that the communicative efforts of their feelings may get lost in translation, most INFJs genuinely struggle with verbally conveying their own experiences. With introverted intuition and extroverted feeling at hand, this personality type is much more apt to ruminate internally about their challenging emotions, feelings, and external obstacles until a verdict is reached. Not only is it within their cognitive makeup to automatically take this approach, but they've also been doing it since they were young. Rather than going outward to friends and family for advice, INFJs go deeper within themselves to try and connect the dots of the information they've previously stored. And so, when it comes to practicing their vulnerability, they can easily feel at a loss for words. Given the ability to telepathically communicate their internal web of thinking, INFJs would much more easily be able to get their feelings across to another. So, until that technology is invented, this personality type will probably forever remain unable to fully and clearly communicate in an unguarded fashion. And lastly, number 7. They can't help but to regret it. Speaking earlier about the potential feelings or anxiety and regrets that soon follow a brief moment of letting their guard down, INFJs can end up beating themselves up for exposing their inner world. No matter how right it feels in the moment, and even if what they said was understood with utmost accuracy and met with non-judgment, once the moment of sharing is over, INFJs will ruminate about what they said and how it was interpreted for days on end. Of course, the topic of the matter makes all the difference in just how intense this pondering and reanalyzing can be. But for the most part, INFJs will replay that moment like a movie through their introverted intuition function in order to either further torture themselves or soothe their worry by convincing themselves that what they shared wasn't that big of a deal. This rumination is all that much worse if they were intoxicated or pestered to open up against their will. Yet, one thing they'll never do is go back and try to re-explain themselves or take back what they said. They know that what's done is done and there's no going back. Well, psychos, that's it for today. So, 
Let us know in the comments below if you find that pushing yourself to be vulnerable can feel unbearable at times as an INFJ. Also, make sure to leave us a like, share with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel so that you never miss a video.